Right, I'm at the uh, Brizzy Airport today. I'm going to be taking off to Cairns. We're going to meet Tyson Palmer and we're going to go on a little adventure for three days. Um, I've been cooking up this plan to go to a little cold K up off Cape York um, for some time now. It's been a couple of years in the making. Um, the weather hasn't played the game or I haven't had someone to go with. But um, Tyson's put his hand up and we've been talking about it for a while and the weather window has finally opened up. Although it looks like we've got some shocking storms in amongst it, but uh, otherwise there's glass out. It's going to be hot as hell, um, and I'm hoping the action is going to be hot as hell. Hopefully I can bring you some of the best fishing footage you'll ever see, because we are going to one of the best fishing places in the world, the Outer Reef, Cape York, Queensland. I'm doing it again, but this one, it's a full-on trip. I can't wait to show you. Finally touched down in Cairns and uh, got this lad on board, Tyson, has picked me up. Last time we did a trip, we did the uh, COD mission down south, uh, or south of Brisbane. We went over the border in New South Wales and um, went and smacked a whole stack of COD. He got his first one. This trip, and I think I mentioned it in the last video when we uh, went, this trip we're actually uh, going north of Cooktown by a long way. We've got um, a big steam ahead of us tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to drop the boat in and we're going to steam up to a um, uh, coral cay and a couple of islands and uh, decide where to camp once we get up there. We've been scoping it out a little bit on Google Earth, but we've never been up to this place before. We've been scoping it out for um, a long, long time. And finally, it looks like a weather window. Turn that thing down for fuck's sake. I'm trying to talk to the fucking camera. <laughs> Sorry, boss. <laughs> so anyway, we've uh, scoped it out. Um, I've talked to one guy that's actually done this before. Um, well, I thought it had never been done before, but uh, <laughs> proper has. It's um, it's pretty remote where we're going to. We've got centre console on the back. How big is your centre console? 6.2. 6.2. About 400 litres of fuel. 400 litres of fuel. We're going to be carrying all the way up here. And we're also going to be carrying... Um, Water, food, um, and everything else, cameras and all the gear, generator to charge gear up, so that uh, I can bring you some of the best fishing action, hopefully, that you're ever gonna see. I'll put the mocker on us now, but the weather is absolutely mint. The only thing is we're gonna get some um, uh, big storms, I think, at night, by the look of things, or during the day, it could be anything. So we're going to be dodging a little bit of weather. Other than that, it's going to be glass out, but the, the storms are going to be pretty hectic, I think. Um, I'm petrified of lightning. It's just not my thing, uh, lightning. Not many people would enjoy lightning, but I really, really am. <laughs> I enjoy lightning as much as I enjoy flying high. I hate flying. So anyway, we'll keep going on the road here. And um, yeah, I'll um, probably uh, catch you in the morning when we'll be dropping the boat in and cruising up the coastline. Got a real problem at the moment. Uh, Tyson's got some bad bad bow movements at the moment. Belly. We, we had uh, we had some Chinese at lunch and um, it was well it wasn't lunch, it was like right in between lunch and dinner and it looked like that food had been sitting there a long time I actually said when I was eating that this is really what I'd call stodgy it, it just really didn't seem right and uh, <laughs> this fellow is in trouble. We've had to pull up on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere and uh I had to rip up a tear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, classic. This is awesome. 
So it's now 10 o'clock at night and we're in Cooktown, we're just filling up. Uh, Tyson's putting fuel in the tank, he's already put 90 litres in. Um, we've got another uh, 200 litres of Jerry's we've got to fill up. And while he's doing that, I'm going to pull out my rods and start getting rods ready. Uh, we've still got to fill 40 litres worth of uh, water up here as well. Um, yes, a lot of fuel, yes, a lot of water. And yes, a lot of gear, but if you knew where we are going and what we're doing, um, you'll know why. It is, at the moment, I reckon 30 degrees and it's 10 o'clock at night and it's humid as. We're gonna be absolutely sweating doing the fishing that we're doing. And um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's just gonna be one of those adventures. Hopefully this weather holds for us. Uh, I know the wind will, but um, there's lightning all around us at the moment. All the way here, there's been lightning, so I'm petrified. Well, as you can see, it is uh, daylight hours now. It is now 7.30 in the morning, and we should be well underway. But last night, we had a bit of drama. Um, well, we had a lot of drama, actually. We, Tyson has actually come down with some sort of sickness. He's uh, really crook, uh, had temperatures, and... Um, yeah, a bit of other stuff going on and he's not well at the moment. He's sleeping at the moment, trying to get himself better. Um, we were gonna leave at about five o'clock this morning. Plus last night, we were up till midnight trying to unhook a fridge out of his car, which was an absolute pain in the butt. So we had, um, we had you know, a few hours sleep. Tyson's catching up with some more sleep now. And hopefully we can get underway. As you can see, the weather is absolutely beautiful now. It's hot and steamy. Um, yeah. Just, um, we should be almost at our destination right now, but unfortunately we're just stuck here just waiting for Tyson to get better. Um, we've still got heaps of time. Um, if we can get up the coastline today sometime and get to this spot, I'm sure we'll make up for it with some um, awesome fishing. Um, the storms have been circling around about the location we're gonna go to, but um, not quite there, so. Hopefully we don't get these electrical storms that are around because I hate, I hate, hate, hate with a passion lightning. But um, yeah, we'll just see what uh, see what shakes down. We're just gonna get this uh, fellow Tyson, we're gonna get him better. Hopefully he gets up soon and we can get underway. So we are actually underway, finally. Um, big thanks got to go to Mark and Nikki. Uh, they had put us up last night and um, yeah, they've been absolutely fantastic. Great hospitality by the locals. A um, couple of Tyson's friends, um, thank God for them. They're gonna take the car up to their place and keep it at their place in the next few days. But we're actually gonna send it. It's uh, hot as hell, I'm just pouring out the sweat and I haven't done anything yet. I've um, basically put the boat in, walked onto the ramp and um, that's about it. And it's just pouring out of me. So that's a bit of an indication of what we've got in store for us for the next couple of days. Um, this boat is absolutely chock-a-block full of gear, absolutely loaded. We're loaded up with fuel and water and uh, all this camp gear. Um, the rods are in, uh, Tyson's are in the side. I've got six of my own there, plus a fly rod. Um, so we've got plenty of gear. Hopefully, um, if we run out of gear, we'll be doing well anyway. We'll have a great trip, so. Tyson's not too far away and we're about to get underway. So let's uh, get this drive done. It's gonna be pretty spectacular. Hopefully I can show the scenery that we've got coming up. I was hoping for clear weather so I could get the video going and um, looks like we've got that right now. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. And the fishing, hopefully, is going to be uh, next level. So let's go and do it. I'm excited now. We're actually doing it. I can see the actual mouth of the river and uh, how spectacular is the day. Absolutely glassy. I'm sure it's going to uh, get a bit wild this afternoon if the thunderstorm's coming around. But at the moment, you just can't get any better conditions. We've got a three hour scent up the coastline up that way. But that scenery is absolutely spectacular. How good is this?
So we have officially arrived. Um, there's a long punch up here, but it, the weather is absolutely perfect. You couldn't ask for better weather. And um, we're just coming to the lagoon. We're just deciding where to anchor the boat and place the boat, um, dump a bit of gear off. Um, we may sleep in the boat uh, still, we don't know yet. But um, there is not a person inside here, and nor should there be. It's a long, long way up the coastline. It'll be interesting to see how much uh, fuel we actually chewed. Um, I know it was a little bit more than what we expected, but we have brought a lot of fuel. What's the update on the fuel, mate? 83 litres. 83, so it's not much more. We banked on about 75 litres coming up here. Um, but the water's absolutely pristine. We've seen all these little trevally before. Uh, pretty sure we've seen a blue bastard over there. So, um, is that a massive stingray over there? Or is that just a massive fish? What is that thing there? Well, out. That big blue thing there. Can you see that? That's huge. I don't know, there's, there's all sorts of stuff here. We're just gonna decide where to uh, put this boat. Looks like a decent channel. You could even run in through that way, I reckon, um, if we had to. Little GT there, look at that. That'd be pretty cool and like here. we on the fluff. Um, tide's gushing out of this lagoon. Um, yeah, we're gonna uh, make camp and um, get ready to go. I don't know what we're gonna do this afternoon. We'll. Um, I think this fellow at the back here is pretty keen just to post up and get on the fly straight away. <laughs> but we've got a few storms hanging around there on the coastline. Not too too fussed about it. I just can't tell you how excited I am. Like, it's ridiculous how excited I am. We're a little bit later than what we expected, but oh man, I am so pumped. There's just fish everywhere. It's unbelievable. Right uh, let's go. I'm getting asked a lot, how do I charge all my camera devices and my other electrical devices while I'm away on these long range trips? And I've been going through a whole lot of different options and they're really painful. I have to carry extra gear, extra weight, and stuff that you don't want when you are on a small boat on these long range trips. Luckily, I've found a product that's gonna suit a lot of people's needs. I need something that's light, that's easier to store, easy to carry the ecoflow river max battery this is a portable charger it has nine different points so you can charge nine different devices at any one time to go with the ecoflow portable battery charger i've also got now a solar panel 160 watt solar panel which is now charging my ecoflow portable battery charger the good thing about it is you can charge this battery in no time and it'll get you up and running and running those devices again the ecoflow max is such a cool device it's so light it's so easy to pack and just saves you a whole lot of hassle in packing a whole lot of things that you don't need to pack on these long range trips i'll put the link in the description below and go and check them out the ecoflow river max and the EcoFlow solar panel. They go hand in hand and they'll get you through any long range trip. to start the trip. Look like terrorising the reef. It's the first fish of the trip. Smack that little Shimano cold sniper up on top of the reef flat. He's uh, inhaled it right in. We haven't done much so far but that's a 
first decent cast without something. There we go, we're getting back. It's nice and tough these fellas. <laughs> first one. Nice work. Nowhere, eh? Woo! Oh. oh, yes. Oh, he's all right. A little bit of a little warm up. Big head on him. That's awesome. Big G. Well, not a big G, but nice start on the pop your job. 100 grammar. We have started. Officially. Oh, yeah. Let's get this fella back. Woo! Standard wet of the sunnies, but that is awesome. That's what we come here for. Nice GTs GT just off these bombies here. Oh yeah, so good. First cast of ties. He's <laughs> controlling. They are on. <laughs> He's sick and everything. The big fella is right to go. How good is this? Wouldn't let you have all the fun. This will be being done for the day again. <laughs> Here we go on after this. Just a little fella for the warm up. Oh, school is everywhere with him. A little fella with the warm up. Your bail on, mate. Uh, on the little pop you drop. There you go. It's a little fun to start with. So good. That's right, man. You. Oh, I might drive us out for away from here a little bit. If you roll that way. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Oh, yes. Oh, ah. Pulled hooks. He looked all right too, big black one. They come out of nowhere. Get turned it backwards. Must it. Ah. You can't go missing them. So good. On the pop you drop, 100 grammar. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, yeah. So good. Some isolated bombies out here that we're casting at. Front mate, if you want. Do you need a driver or anything? 
rot. You got him? Swap the... Here you go. and I'll be back on the floor again shortly. Doesn't seem good. Get him up tight. <sighs> Playing up a bit. I'm gonna like this. Maybe. Oh, fucking sun is wet. Got him? Oh man. I could play it up. Oh jeez, you're ripping me. Did that flash go off the last one? Yeah. Swim, man. You. One fish wonder. Go back to bed now. <laughs> all right, that's the uh, end of day one. Travelled all the way up the coastline a few hours. Um, we left a bit later. Poor old Tyson's been battling through all day. Hopefully tomorrow he comes good. Um, but we ended up getting here and uh, we ended up going, doing all right. We got onto a few GTs. The water was a little bit dirty, dirty not as good as what we thought it was going to be, but um, we still got a stack of GTs. Not massive, but a lot of fun. But, uh, tonight I think we're going to watch a nice show behind us because there's big black storm clouds right along the coastline from straight west of us all the way down the um, I dare say we're going to see a nice lightning storm tonight, um, but it's been pretty awesome just to see a different part of the country and um, I don't know, you just you come away to these sort of places and you really get to appreciate, I say it all the time, but how good this country really is. Um, tomorrow we'll head out to the Outer Reef and, and try and give it a good bash out there, it's not too far from where we're at. And there's a lot of little inshore reefs as well that we haven't hit. We only hit one reef today, so we didn't really explore that much. There's uh, there's plenty to do here, and just knowing you're a long way from home and a long way from people, I think that's what it's all about, just the, the whole adventure. Um, getting away from it all, even if the fishing isn't that good, it's still about getting away from it all and just enjoying what we've... Uh, Got here. Got the boat on the water. We're about to cook dinner, and then we'll uh, bunk down. Hopefully we don't we don't cop too many storms tonight. And um, yeah, well, hopefully tomorrow I can bring you, bring you a whole heap of action. So, So it's now uh, 
two thirty in the morning, and um, I'm soaking wet. I've had to get up and put a tarp over me. I'm in the swag, sand and everywhere. Um, we've got a um, massive thunderstorm about to roll in. There's lightning all over the place. Um, yeah, the wind's got up all of a sudden, and then it stops. It's hot and muggy. So I think we're about to cop it. Um, yeah. That's thunder. I don't know if you can hear that, but massive thunder. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun. Why do we do this? Well, it's now 3.30. Um, I've got the uh, swag pulled apart. We've just put a makeshift tent up. Probably too late now. We've had a storm roll over and belt us. <laughs> There's bucks and getting around everywhere. Oh, this is crazy. Um, it's not the type of thing you want at 3 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning. It's got to be done, unfortunately. Tyson's still sick at the back there somewhere. Is it somewhere there? There he is. Wounded soldier. Wounded soldier. Somewhere there. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be going back to sleep. I'm going to try my best, but it's not looking good. I keep going here. Well, we survived the night. Uh, morning two. And have a look at that. Absolutely magic. Sunrise, morning two, having a coffee. Boat's now uh, back in the water. It was high and dry last night. Big thunderstorms come over. I don't know where it come from. Tyson reckons it come from the east. So it's a bit of a change because they've been coming from the west or northwest and sliding across. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully today we can go and get in on where. Um, going to jump in the boat and we're going to head out to the outer reef I think um, and uh, yeah try and try a bit of top water and do a bit of jigging for some large larger stuff anyway um, might come back in later on and uh, there's a couple of wrecks around we might go and try a wreck to try and get a nanny or two a few redfish but at the moment we're just going to knock back these coffee and maybe get some breakfast and get underway but <laughs> That sunrise is unbelievable. Look at that. See this gap here? So we're in 223 metres, we've come straight off a ledge that's like from 30 metres. Is that bait just there, mate? Straight away oh, that pressure yeah, edge, yeah. Yeah. Big pressure edge there too. So this could be anything out here. Anything from doggies to GTs, um, yellowfin tuna, up against the reef edge, we'll get uh, Big coral trout, or what I like to call dino trout. Um, something just raised just behind us. Look at that. Look at the big swirl left there. So excited. I shouldn't get too excited yet because sometimes they can be a bit off, but when you're on the outer reef, anything can happen. So hopefully it all happens today. Tice it up. Start. Show the camera that. You're up, <laughs> On the panty dropper. Wow. Oh. Oh. Holy Yeah, fight on that, mate. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh. oh man, that's heavy. Didn't take long. Oh. Jesus. Thank you. 
All right, we're about 55, 60 metres of water. We're still not far off the um, off the ledge. There's fish stacked up here. I'm just going to put the heavy jig down. Probably going to have to tighten this up. I've got a 200 gram uh, pop to drop on, or 250. Let's see if we can get one of the big boys down here. All right. School doggies, man. Come on, please. Oh, doggy, 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 doggy. I got me first, doggy. Hey, little fella. Little fellas to start. Oh, yes. Oh. You're kidding. <laughs> Doggy Bell. Finally. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> My first ever doggy. So good. Oh, okay. let's get this fella back. He's still kicking lively. Yeah, that is so awesome. Ah, <laughs> there he goes. So, oh man, <laughs> doggy, so good. There's the sort of way that oh. one. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, is that a shark? Oh yeah, yes, yes, it's awesome, got that. He's come back at you I think. Get into him. Just 
see me middle this one. Oh, dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. Ew. Here we got one. You know. That shark. Yeah, he's had a cook cookie cutter on him too. Yeah. He might be worth taking the slab off him. This fish has had a uh, cookie cutter. Right there, look at that. On the top you drop 100. Beautiful fish. Magic. We're going to take a couple of slabs off him and save him for later. Bit of sushami. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh. You. Big. That's big, Russ. You don't know what that is, but it's big. It's big, man. Oh, you... it's a red reef, it's a red reef. Drop, 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 drop. Ah! That was big. That was like big and brown, like a big gone or something, man. It was huge. That was big, man. What drag is that? Fucking tight. Really? Look at this. It was just ripping it off. That was a big fish, man. I see it coming from a mile away. It was so big. Big and brown, like a big. See the massive cobia? I wouldn't pitch a bit out here, maybe. Did you feel it going to the reef? Yeah, yeah, I could feel it going. Got him. Little trap. Oh, oh that's mad. Oh. Big school of GTs there, bro. Go, 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 go. Oh man! Man, oh, all there. Oh, that was a mad time. Oh, I'm gonna get back to it. Oh, what's that with him? See that fish out there? Oh, look at the size of that. Big shark. Oh, this is not a bad size, G. Oh, get out! Oh, he's all right. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, got him? Yeah. Good G. Oh, man. Look, that was a cool take. So good. Oh, can you just push me so he's back a bit? Right in the middle. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Whew. Now that is a good GT. Especially on P5 in this uh, tight country. Just come up and absolutely railed it right next to me. So good. Mouth open. Whew. 
Yes, so awesome. Close. Now that is what you call a close encounter to get a good barbed hook in the wrist. Woo! That was cool. On then. He's a trout. He's a good one. Don't have a trout. Did this, is that thing still? Oh, yeah, still playing the GoPro, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh. Come on, get the hooks out of him. He's going to get burko. I know they do. They just cut sick of all. Ah. Woo! Wow. That is a dino trout. You just tilt that uh, GoPro down for us, mate. Head down a little bit. <laughs> Scoff that, he's about to go. Oh, I'm just wondering, mate, if, if I hold him like this, can you get that hooks out? At least. Oh. Oh, you smash that lure, look at it. in. I ain't coming out man. That's in. Oh. Get the fucking pliers man and just get Jimmy him off the... Where is the fly now? It's off there bros. Ah oh, fucking hell. This is where you squash barbs. Just Jimmy it off the thing man just jimmy it off that just get in a circle and jimmy it off the lure brush oh there we go i want to get don't worry about nana i'm gonna get but it's in now thanks mate for doing that yep we brained it oh worry about the rest later got a hook in my leg now it's not good <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, mate, I just need my sunnies pushed on. I don't feel very well. <laughs> You're right. I feel a bit faint, but I just take the photo while I'm still alive. No, on the front. How the f is it? <sighs> yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Thing is going to take flash bus. Let's just put the thing off. Take your hat off. Quick, I'm going to fight. Yeah. 
Good. Yep. Oh. I need water, eh? Big time. Uh, Hold or just normal? I don't find <laughs> So the chest done a bit of damage to me. That's probably a size um, 3 0 treble. It's pretty thick treble. It's uh, got some decent barbs on it. So uh, it's really um, steep. It's like in the muscle a little bit. It's making me feel a little bit weird and queasy. Um, probably not real tough when it comes to this. Wish I was, because I'd, uh, I'd just cut the f***ing thing out, but I'm not going to be able to do that, because I'm a bit of a f***ing queasy. I'm all but fainting right now, and before I was really light-headed, I had, like, fuzziness in my eyes, and, yeah. Trying to breathe the hardest part. It looks super deep, eh? Like, yeah, yeah. Th thanks, man. <laughs> Not much further to push it out. Oh, th thanks. <laughs> thanks for the um, reassurance, Tyson. Uh, I'll do it. I think you have to do it, man. I'm glad you can. I'm going to have to film it. So we've. Uh, might point it down a bit so we can show what's going on here. So I've got the point through, I had to get the knife and um, it's pretty crook actually, it's making me feel sick, I'll probably spill in a minute, but I've had to slip the actual hook through. Ah! Oh, I feel pretty crook, I've had to get the point to a point where it's... Uh, Ah, ah, oh, it feels so good. Oh, yeah, and there we have it. Holy, f that's light headed now. I'm gonna pass out, Tyson. So fuck that hook off. Oh, oh, still good, that yeah, hook. no, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah, no water. Yeah. Nah, no, no, I don't want to eat. This salt water would be good for that. Nah, no, nah, no, it's too hot. I'm hyperventilating, no. That wasn't so bad, it's just the more the thought of it. Well, that was pretty cool. Cold trout was definitely worth that. Feeling a bit woozy. I'll just jump in for a second. See what's going on in the water and that. Oh, look at that, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Go on, no, go on. Go. Yes, yes. Oh, he's over the fucking reef. Get out of here, fucking little thing! Oh, doubles! Oh, what's that big thing? Let him just let him take it, let him take it, let him take it! Let him take it! Oh! oh this blue trap's going crazy! He's done! Go under! I just swapped. Oh, you swapped swap this! Oh, that's nuts! What do you got? You're like, oh! Fuck, no more hooks. Oh, yes, long nose! Oh, yeah! One of my favourite fish. The old long nose. How good. Release on him. Woo! 
doubles, triples, all that. I reckon out in this open. Oh, yes! That is awesome! Oh, I'm getting belted by. Oh, long nose. Getting here there. Oh, oh! Wow! That's solid, man. Surely we got. Come from miles away, too. Uh. Sure. What are you about? He comes from here, just fucking on the move. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, what was it? Spangly. Ah, no, not long nose. Oh, I look like that in That was a mad take. Wow. They are going nuts. Good size, too. Oh. Oh. Woo! Stop it. <sighs> Woo! Long nose are on fire. He come from nowhere and just smashed it. It's so awesome. Oh. Woo! Okay. Oh. Oh, that one. Oh, my God! That was so awesome. The long nose come in from nowhere. Oh. Over it. Big trout. Holy hell. He's out. Get him out. Do you want him back up? Yeah. What did you get? Good trout. Good. Yeah. Yeah. You when you lead a Holy sh! That was weird. No effort whatsoever. Oh! 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 That's big! Oh. Oh, don't! Oh! Cod, eh? Was it? Yeah, flowering. You sure? Yeah. Ah! What? What? He's still there. He's still there. He's still sitting there. Look. Sure, that's not a humpy. Turn find out. No way. Oh! <laughs> Did that just happen? Did that? He got him. You're gonna go, brother. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Is that a happy? <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Oh. 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 Oh.
Then we'll land. Oh. What an animal. Oh. Man, that was so good. He'd already hooked up that fish, and then um, sort of had it hooked, and then let go. He just sat there, but then he put a cast straight back over it. He knew exactly where he was. He just come up, and woofed it. It was so good. That was awesome. Oh, eastern cod. Oh man, stinking up. <laughs> Fuck, that's cruel. Good fish though. Jesus Christ, why do you do that? <laughs> oh, good. Good. Nice Can you bend over and put him in the water? Yeah. Slow release. Something black says it. Oh, oh, yeah, got them too. Got them both. Oh, please let both of them. They're that good, both good fish. Oh, 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 surely one of them will get off. Look at them both. Fuck. Oh, my God. Two big red bass. Oh. Holy <laughs> shit. Come in and grab it, then his mate come out. Just go bang, 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 and then finally grabbed all the two fish in the one. I swear there was a trout, a big trout there as well. That's crazy. Crazy. Fucking out of reach. There's one. Choppers on them. Oh, that is dead there. How good is this place? Oh, oh, oh. oh. see? I'm 
patient enough just to wait until we get over there a little bit further where we can actually land the fish. Ah, I'm going to do this shit with it. Holy Jesus! There's a bar! How many have I got? Cast it into it for God's sake! Jesus! Cast it at him! Oh, I've got him up. You got it up? Yeah, cast it up. Sake. On camera too. Oh. 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 Look at that trap just launched. The full body launch. Oh. Oh, like it's a pair of these. Oh, that was sick. Full body launch on that trout. That's mad. Oh, big red bass, man. Even though there's this red bass, there's still such a good fish. Awesome to eat. Just about six or seven of these guys just come out of nowhere and just started fucking cracking the lure. Where's Mr. Trout? Beauty. So good. That was mad. Oh, something happened back there, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he wants to make it there. No. Oh yeah. A little 60 gram, a little change up, bite them up. It's awesome. All right, so we've uh, been on a uh, flat all day today, basically. Uh, we've spent this, this morning uh, Doing a little bit of jigging and that, but we've come up on these flats and oh well, we've spent the afternoon on the flats and it's just been non stop, flat out, just long nose emperor, coral trout, red bass, GTs, hooks and legs, Mary Rass. It's just been uh, one of the best sessions I've ever had uh, up on the flats, at least, anyway. Uh, let alone um, all together, like that's one of the best sessions I've ever had really, that was just um, unreal. Um, we're just deciding what to do next, there's a nice big channel between the two reefs back over where we were earlier, it really wasn't firing but that tide should be turning, uh, should be starting to come in and uh, pushing some pressure at the right side of the reef and um, yeah we'll probably go and give that a go, we might, um, yeah I don't know throw some surface if we've got the energy. Uh, Tyson's still a crook, but he's pushed through it and um, I've well and truly got over my hook and my leg, I think. Um, besides the fact I was uh, feeling a bit dizzy and uh, lightheaded, it was um, quite the experience. But yeah, see what the rest of the afternoon brings. It's pretty, weird, pretty, pretty wild so far. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Oh, trout jumping out of the water. That is mad. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Big man. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we had found Dinoville. There was another three trout. The size of this fella, you know, big, big Dinoville. There's more of these out there. We're gonna keep going at them. This is awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Two trout, mate. The first one hit it and missed it. Second one, oh, 
Jobby, so good. Oh, yeah. man, this is just getting better and better and better. Oh. Right, oh, what do you got here? What do you got here? Put that foot up there, Jack. Get him down. Don't let it go there. Get into him. Don't let it go. Stick it into him. Don't let it go there, Joe. What's the matter? <laughs> Yeah, Shorty! You're gonna be caught! Caught or trout! Get out of there! Get out of there! Well, that was... Oh, yeah. Well, we've, we've caught many, many, many a trout today. Well, that's the last for the day because we're gonna keep that one for dinner. He's a solid trout. Tyson's done well, he's yum, just yum. about stuffed. Yum yum, we've got uh, yellowfin schooner, a bit of sashimi, and uh, nice coral trout. It's probably as big as you want to keep. But that is it for the day. What an awesome day. We've got a storm cloud in the background here. We've been watching. We should be right for that. But I reckon later on tonight, it's going to be wild. Um, but what can I say? Great Barrier Reef, Cape York, Queensland. Does not get any better than that today. That was just the next level. Yeah, good time to bleed it, I think. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave you with it. It was awesome. We're on day three, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is absolutely pouring rain. Um, about uh, one or two o'clock last night, or early hours of this morning, it uh, just started bucketing down. We had a mad thunderstorm come in, lightning, big loud thunder. Um, they're all happening all at once. Um, and we've woken up to Everything absolutely drenched. My swag last night got drenched. Um, but it's okay, we're, we're making do. I'm just making breakfast now. Having a coffee. We've uh, got a few mosquitoes around giving us a bit of hassle. We've got the mozzie coils out. And um, we're doing it. We're rough it. <laughs> it is as rough as you get. Um, it was that hot last night. I was absolutely pouring out with um, with sweat, just ridiculous. Uh, so I had to pull the mattress out of my swag, just lay on the top of the swag and try and get some sort of a breeze, which we were getting. And then, um, yeah, now we're, we're just sort of 
sitting tight and waiting for this weather to pass a little bit. It looks like it's sort of starting to break up over to the west where it's coming from. Uh, once it does, we'll be on the road. I'm going to make this breakfast. I'm going to scoff down, scoff down some food and um, get ready to go. We'll get burning and hopefully hook into a stack of fish again today. Hope you enjoy it. That's a good one. Landing, mate. Nice okay. splash. Ten out of ten. Nice work. Just <laughs> do fucking get a move along. There, buddy. It's bad down there. Nice fish. Ah, oh, yeah, there you were, bud. I was trying to keep it cool there, but. Nice chatty. First one up in the uh, blue hole here. We decided to come back up in here today and 
give these guys a good going over. We had a great time yesterday doing it. Plenty of action. Trying to get a few different angles and try a few different things. Just haven't got that breeze on the water yet. Yesterday, once that breeze came up on the water, it, uh, oof. As you can see, Tyson's on the fly. See what happens. See if he gets one. Change tactics. Go and troll the outer edge. Decent set of hooks on it. Oh, get out. <laughs> Need to go right hard. Yep, and I got two on. I got two fish on again. Ah, Trout in the The trap just got off. Don't know. No, this Oh yeah, beautiful passion for it. Awesome. Woo! Going in further, man. You let him go through the other side. Tyson, Tyson's in there now getting my fish. The coral trout went right up underneath the cave. He's got hold of the leader and we're trying to handline him out here. Handline him, what? All right, we've uh, come up to a reef where we know there's big coral trout here. Um, there may be humpies here as well, try top water and uh, raise something. We've just been on the flats, smacking a few fish on the flats. It wasn't quite as good as what we've had it before. So we've come over here and hopefully we can uh, hardy with a few big dino trout. Let's go and get them. Not this patch here, there's a. I just seen a fuse, he's going. Psh. We'll end up up there anyway. But.
Oh, oh, wow. That's a good trip, man. Oh, no. This is a big one, man. This is big. Oh, no, stop the boat. No, no. Did it come out? Dino Bill. How's this for Dino Bill? Boy, I don't like Dino Trouts at the moment because they're crazy. You're getting a photo of that bastard. Oh, I'm glad I've got no hooks in here. That is all Dino Trouts. <laughs> uh, yes, that is so awesome. I'll get a shot, mate. I might turn the boat. Nah, that's the flash will come up. It's even better when the flash comes up. Yes. Awesome. Let's get this guy back. Ooh, look at those teeth. Ung, ung, ung. Oh. oh, trout a source. Oh, so good. My bro. I want to shift. Squid one to bring up. Ready to go. Close. Just come to the top, seen this thing spearing up at me. Doggy come up. It wasn't massive, but it was a good doggy. Smell the fish kill there. No for good sharks, the fing things. Holy sh Oh, 
shark was actually out of the air, like in the air. So that was crazy. That was pretty crazy. Well, at least I got my data back. I had a feeling I need to bring it up. So the doggies are there. The doggies are there. It's dog town here. For the day, um, it's been a tough day. We had to start late because the weather it had us closed in there for a while. The wind was up and um, it was pouring down rain. But other one, we got we got some good fish still. We nailed some good fish. We missed some good fish. The doggies at the end were. Uh, very tough, I had one nailed right at the boat and uh, the sharks got hold of it. Um, what can I say, this place is amazing. So grateful to get the opportunity to come up here and uh, go up here with this lad in the background. We've been sending it, we've been sending it. So, uh, it's been a tough trip because it's so uh, small a time that we've got to spend out here. But um, all in all, it's been awesome fun. Still got tomorrow to go, we've got a half day tomorrow, we'll pack up and um, yeah, I don't know what we'll do yet, we'll decide, but um, for now we're going to go back to camp, all my stuff should be dry hopefully, and um, bunker down for the night. In the background there looks like an awesome sunset, but I'll tell you what, in those uh, clouds there's going to be a lot of lightning, a lot of rain and a lot of thunder, so it should be a fun night ahead of us, can't wait for that. All right. Well, all good times, we've got to come to an end. It's the last day today, we're packing up. Cam's getting packed up up the top there. Um, last night was awesome weather. It was uh, a little breeze coming in. Cooled us down a little bit, even though it was northerly and pretty hot, but it was still um, much better sleep than what we've had the last two nights before that. Um, yeah, just doesn't get much better than this. Sitting on a little coral cay again on the Great Barrier Reef. In the middle of nowhere, no one around. We've been up and uh, tidied up what we can as my swag rolls down the beach. Um, I know I keep harping on about it, but we really must look after these places. Take your rubbish with you. Only leave your footprints. And if you find some extra rubbish, take it with you as well if you can fit it in. Um, every little bit helps. Um, Stay away from any turtle nests, any of the wildlife. Try and keep your distance. And most of all, enjoy the place because uh, YOLO, you only live once. And to come and do something like this, it, uh, it really is, um, for people that you know, do it for the first time, it really is life changing, I reckon. Uh, you come back, come back home and just uh, take a different perspective on things. This, um, yeah, this really is amazing. We've got to, obviously, just arrived on the outer reef um, on a reef that's a long 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 way from home um, there's a big mushroom cloud down the back here the big front I'm gonna have to keep an eye on oh look at that did you see that Over there, yeah. Yeah, all right. what there's action here oh yeah there's fish here as well so it's all happening let's get a cast in that see what happens Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. The old paws get some fired up. Ah. Yes, I love this. Can you see what it was? Yeah, little G. Ah. That's a good one, board. You know they're small when you can pick them up by the litter. Go. 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 Keep going. Go, mate. Go. Get him. Turn his head. Get him up. Oh! Just about to see colour, I was seeing a little flash, I don't know what it was. I reckon it's a nick in the line. Yep. God. That's annoying. Isn't it? It was coming. It was. So we're just taking a little break from um, throwing the service lures and jigging and all that sort of stuff and decided to have a trot along this reef edge. We've already had two hits, landed one barracuda and um, the last one just smoked Tyson. Absolutely railed him. We're out in about 60 metres of water, trolling big uh, deep divers. And um, yeah, just seeing what that comes to. Uh, there's a bit of a slack tide. The tide's just starting to run out now. So we'll do this probably for only another 10, 15 minutes. And then, um, yeah, we'll pop up over a blue hole. It's a new reef that we haven't been to before. So it's a bit of exploratory stuff, which is awesome. And um, see how we go. We've got a few fronts all around us. Um, back in the background there, they all look nice and fluffy and friendly, but I reckon by later on this afternoon, by the looks of that, there's going to be a big storm in the background there, so we're going to have to see what we do there, whether we roll around it or we um, go through it, see how we go, but we're a long way from home, we're a good three hour punch or maybe three and a bit hour punch, depending on weather, from home, and then uh, yeah, the trip will be all over, but for now we'll, we'll fish as long as we can. I've got a plane flight tomorrow at uh, lunchtime, so as long as I'm home at uh, Cairns by lunchtime, we'll be right. Oh! Oh! oh. Here he comes, here he comes. Shit! Yeah. Oh, he's good size too, man. That's a big trout. Oh, 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 he's not done yet, buddy. Oh, he's another good one. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, woo. Oh, man, come up on that popper. Absolutely smash it. Awesome. Yeah. You're all clear? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it matter. It just snapped it all of a sudden. Just, just another dino trout up in the shallows on the PE4 gear. Oh man, just come up and leveled that popper. So good. Way you go, straight back into his cave. Oh, this trip has been awesome. So good. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes. Second time. What is that? What's that second time? Oh, what? Banger. Pull loop around the boat. Oh. On the little 60 gram, I'm loving that, aren't I? Send him home. Send him home. Nice fish, man. Now the 10 for the dollar. Hold on. Oh, let me hang him there.
Yep. So, in in. Oh, GT. Oh. GT, tuck and tuck. You're in trouble. Should I cast? Oh, bro. Am I over you? Oh, am I over you? Yeah. Yep, I might, might need to switch on. Sixty gram, they're loving that sixty grammer. Solid man, that's solid. Up the camera. Oh, I'll give you a shot of oh man, that's a beastie. Oh on. Woo! Coming for miles, eh? That's why I love this flat stuff. You'd see him coming. Just see him coming, eh? Like fifteen. There's a couple of a couple of them there going out. Woo! That's Yo. awesome. We're mate. Oh, Oof. Yes. Yes. Oh, you fucking set up, eh? You go on the left, I'll go. Oh, how much do you want? What do you want? How big? How big do you want? Stop him. Ah. Stop him. You got him? Yeah, he's there. 40. Get out! Get out! Give him some. Give him some Tyson. Give him some Tyson. Oh, he's Fuck, big trout, man. Big trout. Oh, yes. Woo! Waiting for this fella. Just getting away from that reef. Woo hoo hoo! You got your hand under, bros. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Cracking fish. That is huge. Oh, thick it is. Bad, eh? Holy. That was massive, man. Massive for the flat, so huge. You did well, bros. But I'm happy about this one, brother. I reckon you'd be happy about it. It was awesome. Yeah. Standing in. Oof. He's swimming. He's gonna swim. Oh! Say hello, bye bye. Good size. What size? Uh, he's alright for P4. I'll take it. Especially up on that catch on. Oh. oh. Not bad. Woo! That's a 
That's a good fish. That's a, there's a school of them. Yeah. Oh, banger. Banger time. Oh, that's a beast. He's a good fish. Holy shit. Woo! Ah. Fucking hell. On the little 60. As soon as that hit the water, he absolutely crunched it. Wow. Well, I wasn't expecting that size. Oh, what a beast. Oh, let's try and get this fella up. Oh, man. That's a good fish. That's a cracker. Oh, oh, what a absolute cracker of a fish. Oh. Woo! Oh man. That's awesome. What a beast. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. Woo! Threw it up in the shallows. We just popped over into the deeper stuff, but it's still in the shallows. You know, I think I lost the first one, and then the next one come in, and then that was just mayhem. So good. Ah! Oh. 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 Reverse here. Reverse. Uh. 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 Got him out? Yep, yep, yep. He's good. Oh. Oh. Happy, happy. Is it? Happy. Oh, woo! Swallowed it. Woo! Oh yeah. You put some water on that dick, right? Oh, happy. Yep. He's absolutely. Engulfed it. All right, let's get this fish back. Oh yeah, Happyville. After a few more big ones in here. Ah, oh, so good. Just happened. But no, it actually just happened. Full airborne. Full airborne cold trout. This place just keeps on getting better and better and better. Oi, oi. Oi, you on? No, I'm just watch the hooks on that. <laughs> wow. You reckon you wanted the lure? Yeah. I'll just go wi fi, man. <laughs> Absolute skits fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man. Just doesn't get any better. How was that? Stand by. Oh. 
Give me a keep going, mate. Keep warning. You're out. You're out, mate. Keep getting me out. It's just a big fish, bro. Holy! Yo! Is that bigger than your last one? Oh my god! Oh, oh. Leader man! Oh! Holy! Oh! 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 Oh!
hope you've liked it it's been one hell of a journey oh yeah one last thing gotta finish with a titty <laughs> Mm. Oh, the taste of satisfaction in victory. Let's get home, eh? Well that is it, we have just arrived back at the boat ramp, it was a rough old ride on the way home, it's taken all of uh, nearly three hours, it was a long punch, we got wet, we got hammered, but it was uh, all worth it because that trip was once in a lifetime and we've all done and dusted now, now it's uh, get the boat on the trailer and we are done. Alright that's it, that's the end of the journey, we uh, started on Wednesday night flew to Cairns, then drove to Cooktown. Uh, we then jumped in a boat and we traveled over 500 kilometers in three and a half days. Uh, jumped, back in a, jumped back in a car, drove back to uh, Cairns and then I've just arrived day after Australia Day back in Brisbane. Unbelievable. Unbelievable trip. The fishing was insane, and better still, the um, the conditions was the conditions was just unbelievable. The um, place we went to was yeah, out of this world. Um, big thanks to Tom Tyson Palmer uh, for organising everything. Uh, mate, you're a legend. Um, to Mark and Nikki, thank you very much for uh, putting us up for the night, and. Um, really really appreciate it um, hope you enjoyed watching some of the best fishing that I've had in a long long time